Welcome back to Burn Peak. I'm Seth, and today we're going to be doing, actually yesterday, we're going to be doing, well, it's going to be a little bit different, but kind of the same. So what we have here, just rewind to yesterday. Last week, we built this wall ride feature, a curved wall ride that we have tons of speed after, but we have not built any trail after it. And this section of trail is really important because it links up to what we've been building down there. Problem is we have a few big sycamores over here and we're gonna have to cut into the roots to get it done. I don't wanna do that because these are way up in front of my house. They're beautiful, they give privacy, they provide shade, habitat. We're not bringing the machine through here and we're not bench cutting. We're gonna build a bridge. Now in order to build the bridge, I'm gonna have to hammer quite a few four by fours into the ground and that's gonna be a lot of work. With a sledgehammer, usually the end splits and with a mallet, just kind of takes forever. So I have an idea for a little project to make that go a lot smoother. So let's go up to the garage and I'll show you what I have in mind. So if we were to strike this four by four with a sledgehammer enough times to drive it into the ground, the end is going to split. We know this for a fact. So my idea is to use some metal, make a little box that fits over the end. So that way it's spreading out the pressure evenly across the top of the four by four. It's gonna be cut at four inches, and then these are gonna be the sides. You throw this over the top, you bang it into the ground, and then you pull it off and put it onto the next four by four. I'm gonna get cutting so we can get welding. Anytime you're using a Ryobi grinder, you're doing something high precision. Not so bad, not so bad. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I was expecting it not to work. Definitely needs a little bit more welding. So this is exactly what I had in mind. You just take it, stick it on top of whatever you're hammering, spreads out the load evenly. Bang, 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 bang. Take it off, put it onto the next one. So, I guess we'll paint it, paint it red, and then hit it with a hammer and mess up the paint. My dad used to say, beat it like a rented mule. And then when I got older, I heard, beat them like a redheaded stepchild. Let's test out our redhead. Ooh. Yep, broke instantly. Yeah, broke instantly. Okay. Man, that's a bummer. Okay, so I guess we need a really thick weld. Damn, we just watched him die. All right, should be good to go. Let's try this again. Okay. No splits yet. It's already breaking again, but. This thing got domed. Dude, I need thicker metal for everything because even the top part got banged in. The concept works, but we gotta do better on the engineering end of things. So what we have to do is make a new one of these, but with thicker metal. Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> I gotta fix that. Yeah, I think I can just, well. <laughs> so we went out and got four inch square tubing. This is all one piece. This is not gonna break. Yo, it is perfect. That's my best cut yet. So we're gonna weld a whole bunch of steel on top of this and then uh, it's gonna work perfectly. this 
thing. <laughs> How did we think this was gonna work? They hit with a sledgehammer. Oh, we don't know if this is gonna work. We gotta go test it. All right, back to the scene of the crime. This thing's still hot. Oh man. Dude, I measured it in the place and it was like <laughs> This is three in, this is this is not four inches. Yeah, but the sides of it are a quarter inch thick a piece, right? So I was unable to do that simple math. What if I just like take my knife and just get the corners like just a little bit? Well I guess you can return it, can't you? Return it? We just cut it and welded it, dog. The outside of it is indeed way bigger than a four by four and it does fit over a four by four but god help you if you hammer this thing down into the four by four there's no way it's coming off my entire life i just do this constantly i think driving posts into the ground is just not for me this is one of those things that goes to the ranger station i was so sure that we had just come out victorious what what can i do like go inside of this thing with an angle grinder and like wallow it out like a freaking 132nd on all sides you can't do that. That's not a thing. I don't know, why would you wanna watch us build trails after this? But anyway, we were gonna build trails and now this is a Burn Peak Express video because it was a fail. And so I'm gonna hop in the excavator, or we're gonna cut some trail and you're gonna see it on our other channel. So if you enjoyed seeing us trying and failing and then trying again to persevere, but then instead failing again, uh, give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more of this, and I hope you'll join us again for more of our wild and wacky fabrications. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time. You know what we could do is weld a handle onto this, and then it's a giant iced coffee cup, and you're not paying attention, and you knock all your teeth out of your head. <laughs> We can just leave it by the front door of the ranger station and if somebody weird comes to the house, you just I mean, smash their skull in with this thing. The, uh, Dude, we could just hammer the we could just hammer the post in with this thing like this. If we hammered that on, it would never archaeologists would find this with like petrified treated Lowe's 4x4 in it. This thing ain't holding too well anymore. I guess that's it. That's how it's standing. Maybe burying them in the ground and packing the dirt around it has some merits. Hey Oscar, are you laughing at us? Do you think that's funny? Oscar, that funny? <laughs> <laughs>